What's up, y'all? I just wanted to show on this video how I take two boxes, push them together. Like, um, I take one, tape it up, just, you know, like you normally would. And then I take another one, the same size, and push it inside the other so that way these are free usps boxes you can't do this with flat rate boxes but these are just regular mailing boxes um so yeah you can uh, modify those but you can't modify flat rate shipping so that's how that will be also i wanted to show this collar i use um i'm not shipping purell but it's a similar type nozzle the perp i stretch wrap around this i'm going to show on instagram i'm going to pick up another type tape out of the plumbing section and try it to put a seal on this and then stretch wrap it but the purpose of this collar out of a pool noodle um i showed on instagram they got them clearance walmart 50 cents each i mean you could do this with bub like a piece of bubble wrap or this cushion wrap you know roll it up and twist it around but yeah i used the pool noodle that way when i stretch wrap it it doesn't bend or it won't bend or break the nozzle because you have to be careful of that if i just stretch wrap <clears throat> as tight as it really needs to be then it puts so much pressure on that it bends it or potentially break it um and yeah um, I stretch wrap pretty much everything. I just think it looks more professional. Of course, I'll bubble wrap that and put it in a bubble mailer. Um, and yeah, I package stuff like this. Uh, I like anything box that could get crushed. Um, instead of just dropping it in a bubble mailer or, or poly mailer, I, um, I wrap cardboard around it. So, um, lessen the risk of it getting damaged so yeah i just wanted to show that and i'll show other tips and stuff as far as reselling goes or maybe some other stuff i don't know i really don't even know what i'm doing